The aloe vera plant leaves turning brown. The main reason behind that is improper lighting, temperature changes and watering issues and the soil problems. Let's discuss the one by one. First one, improper lighting. Aloe vera plants do well grow in direct sunlight, but sometimes too much light can damage your aloe leaves. Plants grow in very hot sunlight can become sunburned leading to browning. Second one, temperature changes. Aloe vera plant are sensitive to sudden change in the temperature. When the weather become cold and wet, move your potted aloe vera inside otherwise it could start to brown and die. Ideally, the temperature for this plants should not dip below 50 degree Fahrenheit. Also, if moving a potted aloe plant outdoor for the summer, be aware that very hot and dry condition can stress your aloe, that leading to brown leaves. Number 3. Watering Issues Known for their ability to store water within their leaves, aloe plants do not need frequent watering. In fact, overwatering your aloe can lead to root rot and browning. This is especially true for potted aloe plants that do not have proper drainage holes. To prevent browned leaves due to overwatering, water your aloe only when the soil has completely dried out. When you do water the plant, do so thoroughly so you soak the soil. In winter, temperature below 60 degree Fahrenheit outdoors, water your aloe much less frequently because the plant is in a dormant phase. Less frequent watering also helps to minimize frost damage from wet soil if temperature drops below freezing. Number 4. Soil Problems as succulents, aloe vera plants require well-drained soil to prevent root rot, which lead to the brown plant. Ideally, you want a cacti potting mix or garden soil that contains extra perlite and sand. The same soil recommendation applies both to potted plants and non-potted ones. In terms of fertilization, you will need to fertilize your aloe plant once per month, only in the spring and summer months. A houseplant fertilizer diluted to half the usual strength works well. So you just rectify these issues and you can save your aloe vera plant from dying. I think the information is helpful to you. If you like my video, please comment in the below section and also don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.